Hello friend, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Selector Sub. So CSS Selector, this is one of the, I would say best selector, which is preferred by each and everyone over like other selectors. And uh, looking at the trends and the tools which are coming these days, uh, like Cypress, Playwright, and the way tools are evolving uh, towards like preferring the JavaScript frame based frameworks, so mostly prefer uh, mostly people are preferring the CSS selector these days. And the thing is like uh, we can write the CSS selector, we can generate the CSS selector, but uh, you see that we are able to write the CSS selector in case of uh, uh, those elements where we find the unique attributes. Like if ID is unique, we are able to easily write. If class is unique, we are easily able to write. Or some attributes are unique, then we are easily able to write them. But there also we waste a lot of time in like, in fact, writing CSS selector whenever they're like every time we have to think oh this CSS, uh, this attribute could be unique and uh, these attribute can be used. And in many situations, we are not able to write the CSS unique CSS selector where like attributes are not unique. People struggle a lot because uh, functions are not that easy to remember until unless you are not doing a lot of practice you're not writing lot of, lots of css selectors it's really hard like uh, i'm talking about like practical things yes of course one can ease uh, means remember as well but uh, like on an average like how many people are able to write the relative css selector relative to some other element relative to parent because uh, in like in x path you can traverse backward forward direction in uh, but in case of css selector we can just traverse in one direction only so uh, and there are not like uh, access based kind of function text is not supported in css selector so in those kind of situation how can we generate the css selector automatically so in this tutorial i will guys uh, i will try to help you guys and explain that how you can get the relative css selector unique css selector robust css selector which can be directly used in your script of like whether it could be selenium Cypress, Playwright, or any kind of automation framework which you are using, or WebDriver IO, and lot, lot more things, or any customized framework you are using for your uh, web automation. So uh, here, uh, like it's very simple that let 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 us install the selector sub. So selector sub is the tool which will help you guys to generate the CSS selector automatically and every kind of CSS selector. So like for an example, let let us go to this uh, uh, here practice page. <laughs> So some examples are like very, very simple. Like you just inspect, click on inspect here. Uh, let me zoom in. If you're new to CS uh, Selector Sub, I would request you that go to home page and uh, from there you can install Selector Sub. I have already installed, so here it is. Now you see that here, if you inspect this element, enter email field, so you see that ID is there. So it becomes very easy. Oh, ID is there. We can write it simple. But suppose for a second ID is not there. In that case, other attributes are there. So we can use them. Like we can write those kind of CSS selector. So you see that by default selectors are used to generate that kind of CSS selector, which you can directly use it. And you need not to write. Like you can simply copy this and use it in your script. Now. Let us inspect another element password. So here also ID is there. So you can it has given us simply this this kind of CSS selector. Now another element, let's say this company one. So you see that here, if we try to write CSS selector for this element, <coughs> like uh, name is there, class is there, and uh, placeholder is there. But you see that ID is not there. So in this case, we try to use the form this class. So generally like we know one formula is that dot you type and then you add the class name so here it is showing four elements matching now how can we make it unique because now there is no other at uh, id is not there unique class is not there so we also try this kind of formula of css selector so you see that every like in fact name and you keep scrolling so none of the attribute here is unique you can see the references here while uh, writing typing here in selector sub so you see that none of the attribute here is unique. So it becomes difficult that how we write the unique CSS selector for this kind of element. So in this kind of situation, selectors will help you automatically to generate the CSS selector. You see that relative CSS selector and what it is doing, like if we 
verify this here you see so what it is doing here it is trying to uh, generate css selector for this element and connecting this element to directly to that parent which is the which is having the unique attribute or unique id like this one is having and it removing in between selectors so you see that in between elements so you see that it has generated this css selector which is unique for this element and you can easily use that so in those kind this kind of situation it is very very helpful that it used to generate css selector automatically which you can directly use it in your automation script now let me show you more example like where elements are really uh, not static or attribute is not static like if you inspect this element you get this kind of automatically generated css selector and which will be the best css selector which is generated by selector sub here so you see that it has generated this one now you inspect any other element like this so here again the situation is that none of the attribute is unique for this element so it has generated css selector combining this element with that parent which is having the unique attribute and if it is generating with class and you feel that class is not static you can uh, uncheck this and it will generate with something else and of course like whenever you see that it is going all the way till top so of course because of none of the attribute were unique in between and class we have unchecked so that's the reason it is generating long but mostly like whatever css selector you will write it will write better than that css selector and uh, now uh, there could be a situation let, let us go back here like if you inspect this element now there will be situation that you want to, to uh, use this css selector in your script in your playwright script or in your uh, selenium scripts in that case you don't want to write that uh, <clears throat> cy dot css selector or, or cy dot get or, or in playwright if you're using something else or in selenium you are using that driver dot find element by dot css selector so in those kind of situation can we get those command complete command so yes here you see that there's a command feature and here you see that driver dot find element it has automatically converted driver dot find element by dot css selector and then css selector here then here you see that cy dot get if you click here you will get the cy dot get so if you are using cypress you can use this directly this command cy dot get so this is very very helpful and uh, like you also get the js path jquery so that is also there and if you are using playwright then you can use this await page dot locators so like that you will be <laughs> sorry you will be able to use any kind of uh, like selector from here and you can automatically generate the css selector with the help of selector sub if you doesn't want this you can turn it off so this is very very helpful and not every time like let's say uh, if you inspect any kind of element whether that is a svg element for that also it will generate or whether that is a css selector if any element is not having the uh, any attribute or that just having the text then also it will try to generate this uh, locator for the css selector unique css selector for that element like you see that this for this anchor tag it has generated this uh, selector css selector which is very very helpful <laughs> Another great thing is this about the uh, like how you can generate more conveniently these CSS selector <coughs> without even opening the selectors up. You just right click and from the context menu you can copy the relative CSS selector here. Simply click on this and your uh, CSS selector is copied. Right click and copy CSS selector. And here if you see that you paste that value. Let me paste this value. So here this is the value of CSS selector you got. So this is like really amazing. And in fact, like if you're using like Facebook or any kind of dynamic website as well, in that case also, it will be very, very helpful. Now we have seen that it is uh, generating like really great uh, selectors <coughs> and uh, a lot more things. Automatically generate the CSS selector for each and every element, which is very much unique. Now, if you want to go to the next level, you want to generate like uh, more uh, quickly, more lots of CSS selector, for all the elements all together in one shot you can capture the element you see that there's a uh, generate css uh, like <coughs> here you click to generate automation code or multiple selectors click on this and now you just start inspecting the element let's say uh, password field user email field 
company field or whichever field you want to inspect you just keep inspecting and you see that it is generating css selector for each and every element you can simply copy all of them and use it in your script or you can just turn on the command and then you can copy this and uh, paste it in your code so this way it will be like uh, very quick to uh, write the any kind of a script whether you are writing selenium or cypress or any script this will be very helpful <coughs> you can generate this kind of command from the selector sub itself and if you want to like save more time and you want to go to the next level of course there is a pro version of selector sub so in pro version you can uh, save more time uh, like you have the uh, selector sub inspector so if you just click on this pom page and then start inspecting the element like this very quickly you would be able to generate these selectors you need not to click on that uh, dev tools inspector again and again so here it is even faster than that so very very helpful feature in pro also in the pro version you just uh, like <coughs> i showed you that in free version you are able to copy the css selector you right click and copy but you see that when we are copying the value you are not able to see the value we have copied it but we don't know what value has been copied so in pro version we have taken it to the next level and now from here itself you would be able to see the value and then you click and copy so now before copying itself you know that what is the value you are copying in the pro version so this is more helpful and more time saver so so this is how you can uh, generate the css selector automatically for your playwright script selenium script cypress script or whichever framework like webdriver io or any js based framework you are using so in that case it will be very very uh, helpful i hope uh, you, you like this tutorial and uh, you like the selectors so of this will be very very helpful for you guys to save a lot of time and i will uh, request you uh, all of you that please uh, like this video and share selectors of with each and everyone in your community so that people can save their lot of time and also like uh, in case of shadow dom and uh, like i haven't shown you guys example of shadow dom let me show you that shadow dom as well so uh, selector sub is the only tool which helps you guys with the uh, shadow dom and i frames etc so like if any element is inside uh, shadow dom so for that how you can generate because shadow dom elements gen uh, supports only css selector so in that case you see that it automatically generate the complete script and give you the css selectors and everything so here you see that <laughs> it gives you the css selector tells you the how, inside how many shadow doms are there and all those things so all the information it used to give you so this is very very helpful in case of shadow dom and all and very helpful and in the pro version uh, of course like there is more features that you can generate this script in like whichever format you want like if you want with playwright javascript you can get that playwright with java you want if you want cypress you can get the cypress uh, script for shadow dom so this is very helpful and this way you can generate the like css selector automatically for any kind of element web element whether that is inside iframe whether that is inside uh, shadow dom svg and all those stuff like if an, any element is inside iframe then in that case you just inspect the element and it will give you the css selector for that element also if you have any x path another great feature of selector sub if you have any x path let's say you have an x path for any element let's say this one suppose we right click and copy the x path and you have this x path here you want to convert this into css selector just hit enter and it will give you the ss selector which is the css selector for your x path like for an example here uh, suppose we inspect this element google.com right click and copy the x path and enter here suppose you want to convert this x path into css selector you just hit enter and you see that it has it is giving you this css selector for this x path so you can easily convert any x path into css selector with the help of selector sub so you can verify and of course like you know that all those features are there in selector sub that you can uh, if you want to write your own css selector you can of course type it and start typing and writing you can write and verify so that is of course there but yeah this is the great feature that you can uh, generate the css selector automatically and it will save a lot of time for you so i hope you like this video and i would request you if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any upcoming innovation updates on selector sub x path selectors related stuff and automation and please do uh, let others know if you want to write about selectors of 
uh, you want to present Flexor Sub in your company in any conference, meetup, do feel free to uh, present there and write about it and let others know. Thank you. Thank you so much.